Today I will be submitting a proposal to reboot a television show that was cancelled in 2010. Rebooting a television show can be a tricky process. It can either go marvelously and live up to the expectations set forth by the original series, or it can complete, be a complete disappointment to the loyal viewers. After being crushed by the disaster that was Gilmore Girls A Year in the Life, I took that failure into consideration. While reminiscing over all the shows that I've loved over the years, um, I thought of one that really threw me back, Ugly Buddy. What started as a funny, entertaining show that I would watch with my two best friends growing up taught me many valuable lessons during its four seasons. For one, never apologize for who you are and never change who you are for reasons other than your own. Another, chase your dreams even when they seem to be impossible. Over the years, we laughed, we cried, we cheered for Betty and her interesting ensemble, and we watched her successes and failures in life. But what happened after Daniel flew to London to see Buddy? Hildup and Bobby are now married. Now what? Fans deserve some more answers. The Ugly Buddy reboot, like its original series, will be a single-camera, hour-long drama that runs on the ABC network. The storylines and characters provide a plot that warrants the one-hour time slot on television. It will be a serialized and follow the life of Betty, her family, Daniel Mead, Wilhelmina Slater, and of course, Amanda and Mark. The pilot, for example, will introduce a plot that will carry throughout the multiple episodes. Buddy will be a successful editor in London where she left off. However, now she'll be married to Daniel with two children. While happy with her life across the ocean, Betty misses her dad, sister, and nephew back in Queens. What will happen when she's offered a position working for Vogue in New York? We'll see. The plot episode, the pilot episode, will begin by introducing the new Mrs. Betty Mead and her work and home life in London. It will then go on to update viewers on the rest of the supporting characters that will be featured in the new show, switching back and forth from London to New York. The pilot will conclude with Betty receiving her life-altering job offer with Vogue. Will she uproot her family and move them to New York, or will she turn down the huge job opportunity? Episode 2 will feature Betty revealing her job offer to Daniel and the couple informing their children about the impending move. Episode 3 will be their re re relocation from London to New York and Betty reconnecting with her family. Then episode 4 will introduce Betty's new work environment and the people that come with it. Episode 5 will focus on Daniel's struggle to find a new job in New York City. Other ideas to be featured throughout the reboot is Betty feeling like an outsider with her family since she has been gone for so many years, and Daniel's role as a modern father, one who is willing to spend more time raising his children while his wife prospers in her important career. Betty Suarez, the principal lead, is no longer the brace-faced assistant wearing a Guadalajara poncho to her first day working at a fashion magazine. She's a successful, powerful editor who has worked extremely hard and put up with lots of adversity to get to where she is in 2018. Her ex-boss and now husband, Daniel Mead, is also a main character. However, he has given up his editor position in his family's publishing company and now works as a sports commentator while raising two children with Betty. Hilda, Betty's older sister, and Bobby are happily married, raising a daughter, while Hilda's older son, Justin, is pursuing a musical theater degree at NYU. Mark, now an editor at Mode, and Amanda, now a stylist for the same magazine, have stayed friends and in touch with Betty over the years to all of our surprise. Now for our favorite fabulous anti-hero, Wilhelmina Slater. She remains well-dressed and ed the editor-in-chief of Mode magazine in New York. She's the ultimate femme fatale of our story. She is confident, determined, and unafraid of doing what she has to do to succeed, which includes lying, deceiving, and blackmailing. Wilhelmina uses her sexuality, charm, and power to get her way at work and in her personal life. She is fueled by self-interest and follows her own rules as opposed to society's. Wilhelmina is the one character who has not changed much during the time that has passed since the, um, since the character, since she already has everything she wants. If anything, she has gotten more powerful and more mean. In addition, Wilhelmina is also the antagonist in Ugly Betty. She is driven by goals and duties, she has relatable character flaws, and she often invokes feelings of distrust or dislike. Betty is the patriarch of the series. She is the driving force of the show and the characters in it. There would not be a show without her. It consists of her family, her friends, and co-workers. Betty is listened to, relied upon, and respected throughout the show. Her father, Ignacio Suarez, is the matriarch, in my opinion. He is the, often the moral voice of the family. He provides advice and support for his daughters, grandson, and anyone else who may be in need. After his wife died, he was required to take on the roles of both father and mother. He is a dependable, loyal, loving figure in the show. Wilhelmina Slater is the craftsman. She is constantly screaming and pushing for her own agenda. She lives in her own world where rules don't apply. The clown is the duo of Mark and Amanda, friends who are often used as comedic relief throughout the series. 
They often get themselves into sticky situations, usually while helping Wilhelmina or Daniel, but find their way out. Mark and Amanda are a fun, funny dynamic duo that liven up Ugly Betty. The two original main creators of Ugly Betty are Silvio Horta and Fernando Gaetan. Horta is also known for Urban Legend and Jake 2.0, while Gaetan is known for A Corazon Abierto and Amor Sincero. Other notable contrib contributors to the show are Cara de Paolo and Dalen Rodriguez. An Ugly Betty reboot will have the substance to reach out to viewers about important topics that it hasn't shied away from in the past. For example, in previous seasons, Hilda's fiancé was killed due to gun violence, and Betty's father dealt with immigration problems which led to his deportation to Mexico. These topics are both heavily featured in the news. In addition, today's world is faced with issues such as discrimination in the workplace based on both gender and race, and on a daily basis. Betty, a Hispanic female, has worked extremely hard throughout her life to overcome this discrimination, and she is now in a position to help those who face similar issues. Another topic that could send a message to viewers is the struggle of working in the fashion industry and potential dangers that come with it. Young people today are obsessed with appearance and social media, which takes a toll on their mental and physical health, which can then lead to issues such as low self-esteem and eating disorders from constantly comparing one's face and body with those of others. Ugly Betty has a storyline that can incorporate these hardships to teach its viewers about the dangers of not taking care of oneself properly. In conclusion, Ugly Betty is a show that has a lot more to offer than just four seasons. Its unique cast of characters and individual storylines make it a show that many can relate to. A young person wanting to become a writer or reporter. Someone who doesn't feel like they belong. Someone accepting their sexuality for the first time. Someone who feels stuck in their career and needs to make a change. Someone who feels like they will never find love. People will be able to find a character they relate to within the show. There are an infinite number of possibilities to further expand the storyline and to take it to great heights. It will capture the attention of its previous viewers while pulling in many new ones. Take a chance on a fifth season of Ugly Betty. There is so much that can be offered from a show that has incorporated so many diverse and unique characters and characteristics to the show. And it will definitely be a great addition to the television that is on TV today and a great way for young people to get exposure to new possibilities.